Hello, today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa, I'm a cruel for YouTuber and a strange of yellow no why. And today I am here with a new video and also new hair. If you haven't seen me before, you don't know, but I did just get home from the hairdresser, I have cut my hair, I have done two little side cut thingies, under cut thingies, which I love, cut it kind of short and I'm just so happy with my new hair. I love it. My bangs is just a little bit wonky as it always is. Um, it was uh, kind of windy outside and okay <laughs> enough about my new hair which I love. Today I am going to use the Melt Recently Deceased because I am in the end of my melt theme week and that is also my second halloween week for this year because i almost only have the holiday palettes from melt so today i'm going to use this one and this is the green and purple palette and i was thinking about doing a purple look but like when i open this i really want to use the green ones like this shimmer is amazing so I think it's going to be a green look actually. When I did my first impression with this one, I did one purple eye and one green eye. But I just wanted to get into the greens because I do love greens and I do really like the greens in this palette. So that is what I'm going to do. And also, yeah, this week I'm just going to do whatever I want. And I have like hair. You know when you just have cut your hair and you got like little frizzes down your shirt. Annoying as hell. But I think we just hop into this. And one thing that has happened more. I have cleaned all my eyeshadow brushes. I love myself for doing that yesterday. So I'm just, I'm just going to prime eyes and then we get, get started. So I'm thinking about doing a really easy look today. And maybe just use draw a door and neurotic this one because this shimmer is amazing i think i only will use these two actually so we'll start with the matte shade in my crease and it has been so fun this week and to use my melt palettes but like i do have feelings about my pa melt palettes that i didn't thought that i was going to have and uh, I don't know how I feel about that and I think that I will do like a more in-depth video about Melt and Me but um, I have really like noticed that Melt is a brand that I want to love but that I'm not sure if I do like I love the idea of Melt but I don't know if I love the end product, if you get what I mean. And when I have done this week, it f I get the feeling that it's not only me. Because I have got comments from you as well, where you like, don't feel that Melt is that special that it should be. Okay, this shade. Amazing. I just realized something. Always when I have this shirt on, I always do a green eye look. Every damn time. I like a grungier green. I have nothing against that though, because grungy green is something I do love. And I am, of course, doing a red lip to this look. Okay, it's now, I don't know if I maybe want to go in with uh, the same shade and take it a little bit on my lid as well. And then go over it with a shimmer. Like yesterday when I did clean my brushes, I did forget how incredibly boring it is. I was watching YouTube and cleaning my brushes. But like, it takes a while to do that. But, uh, yeah. 
Maybe I shouldn't wait until all the brushes are dirty and just clean it. Maybe one half of them are dirty. So it doesn't take such a long time. Maybe that is an idea that I should try. Okay, it's now... I'm not sure anymore. Because it feels like I want to make this a little bit deeper. But I don't want to take the shimmer green. I wonder if I can take this Lost Souls, this darker purple one, and just smudge it a little bit in my crease. And I'm taking a smaller blending brush and just... And I know this is a sh risk to getting a little bit muddy. But uh, at the same time, this is like a dirty green, so... And I... Okay, this is... <laughs> has nothing to do with I don't know I feel kind of happy today I don't know why and it's not only because I do love my new haircut it's also like I had a good day before I don't know if it's me because I did quit two hours earlier today because I was going to cut my hair Um, it could have been that but I just feel happy today. I don't know. I'm always like a little bit, I question myself when I'm happy. Is that a strange thing to do? Okay, now I'm going overboard with this purple. Okay, I'm going in with the shimmer now instead. And I'm not going to cut my... I've... I don't know if I want to cut my crease because... No. I like that I'm questioning myself if I should cut it and then I just start to put this on. And I did watch a little bit like my first impression review on this palette and in that video I did actually use all the shades and I was happily surprised by this and said that it was my favorite melt palette because all the shades are good in this palette so yeah and so far I do agree with my former self I think it looks really good. I didn't want to take a purple. I always want to say yellow when I'm meaning purple. I have no idea why. I always... Or I thought that I wasn't going to use any purple. But I think I'm happy that I did because I think that this do look good. I think it's a fun look actually. I'm always like, I don't have many melt palettes, I have five, and I have two stacks, like I'm always a little bit surprised when I stumble over a really good shimmer from melt, and I guess that that is not like a good thing for melt. Okay, I do love these lids. It's not why I, what I plan to do, but I do love it. So I'm going to take away the fallout, fix my base, come back, and I think I want to do like a little wrap up in this um, video, like a review on all the palettes and talk a little bit about them. And then I am thinking of doing like a get ready with me, maybe and talk more about melt if you want me to do that. But I have some thoughts now when I have used all my mel melt palettes again, so I will finish my face and then I come back. I am not so sure about this red lipstick, even though it is one of my favorites. This is Rumors from Nabla. I think it might be a little bit too clean red in one way. 
I don't know if you get what I mean, but I think I would want it a little bit more dirtier, but it is what it is. For my face, I did use Ombra, and then I used this Buskill from Melt, and I actually did use both the highlighter and the blush. I don't know, the highlighter is like on the edge to be too dark for me, but I did use it anyway. For my waterline, I did use Hot Dang from NYX Cosmetics, and... I love this look. I think this purple and this shimmer green goes amazing together. I am so so happy how this turned out. I'm so happy that I started to take the purple out here because I just think it looks amazing. I am stoked how good this turned out and I'm really really happy with this look. And I have hair in my nose i don't know if it's my hair or if it's cat hair but yeah that was my last video for this week my last melt palette my last halloween look and i think i like this look the best i love this green i don't think i have something similar in my collection with other palettes but this is a really good shimmer green and okay should I maybe... Okay, I'm just going to fix some things. I just wanted to clean the table. So, my like overall feelings with Melt, now when I have used all my five palettes again, I do think Melt does really... Or did at least. <laughs> no, I'm not sure. But they can do really like cool color stories and packaging. Like, I love them with... With... <laughs> Vida and Muerte palette and like the Build Juice palettes, I love the look of them. But like the execution and everything isn't... Melt is an indie brand, Melt is one more expensive indie brand. And I don't think it's like you buy a Melt palette for fun. And I do not think like the quality is worth the money. I do think that the Recently Deceased is an exception. I think all the colors are good in this one. I haven't used all the ones in the waiting room, but the ones I've used are really good. In the Muerte, they are kind of good, all of them. In Vida, they are not good, all of them. And Smoke Session, it's not all good shades. And I think for like the price point that Melt has, I don't think that the shadows are worth it, actually. But I do think they do fun palettes, and yeah, I, I think I want to love Melt more than I actually do. Like, I want to love this cool aesthetic, but, but I just don't. And I think that they do their holiday palettes a couple of years back has been more fun than the regular palettes and i think it's not often that you hear somebody love a whole melt palette i think the she's in parties is one of the most popular palettes and like the f the earlier palettes gemini and i don't know what the other one was but i f do not think that melt is worth the money i don't think the palettes are worth it even though they are really cool and yeah, I guess that that was all for my melt week. I do really hope that you liked it. It has been fun to use these palettes again. And uh, yeah, we will see what my next theme will be. I have some thoughts. But yeah, I do really hope that you liked this video. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please do. So you don't miss any of my videos. And I hope that I will see you in the next one. Bye!